So I'm Sergeant Dion Cockrell with the Texas Department of Public Safety. So we started this morning thinking that uh, it was a weekend, we were going to have a nice weekend, but unfortunately we had a tragic event that happened off of State Highway 21 near Caldwell Road behind me. Apparently there was a school bus traveling with 11 adults and 44 children was traveling to a field trip. Unfortunately that bus was struck by a concrete truck. There was another vehicle behind that bus. As a result of that crash, one child was killed several injuries in the bus, and the vehicle traveling behind the bus also had a fatality, which was a male. Any questions y'all would like to ask? I don't, I'll have the EMS guy behind you. I have Sergeant, I'm sorry, Chief Parker behind me give you that information. But what we have preliminary right now, the investigation seems as though the truck veered into the school bus's lane and struck the school bus. As I said, a result of that was one child being deceased. Several were flown out. Uh, the EMS chief behind me will give you those information on how many were taken to the hospital and possibly where they were taken. Yeah, it was still early, still early in the investigation, but uh, apparently as soon as they finish up, if there's charges to be filed, I'll be able to give you that information later. What time did this happen? So this happened at actually 1.59 p.m. As I said, the school bus was traveling to a school event, actually a, a field trip when the vehicle traveled into the school bus's lane and struck the school bus. So the bus was traveling west and the you repeat the first part again, I apologize. Sure. This afternoon about 1.59 p.m., the school bus was traveling west on 21. It was struck by a concrete truck traveling the other direction. As a result of the crash, one child on the school bus was reported deceased, and a vehicle following the school bus was also a male was reported deceased. Do you have a number on service injury? Service I'll be able to get that from Chief Park in just a second. Do you know if the driver had a cement truck was under the influence of anything? We have no indication at this time if the driver is impaired or anything. About distracted driving, texting, anything? Like Anything's that. possible at the time, it's still a preliminary, so we'll find out as the investigation goes on. How common is an accident? How common is an accident involving this many people, and what are the challenges when investigating and, and certainly, you know, getting the roads back open when something like this happens? I think the big challenge is, is, is the road. It's a busy road, and we have a large number of people that were involved in the crash, so we had to go through and identify each one of the children notify parents, the school had to be notified. So uh, shutting down the road was an absolute necessity. Uh, it'll be shut down for several more hours as they continue the investigation. They were coming back from the Bass Trout Zoo, right? Uh, they were on a field trip. Yeah. Were they coming back from, from the zoo or were they on their way? To I can just tell you that they were on a field trip. But is it also rare for something like this to involve so many people? I have had other instances where there were school buses struck, but this is a large number of kids. Unfortunately, we're all gathered together with 11 adults who were there as chaperones. And unfortunately, it happened in this location, which is a busy highway in Bastrop County. For DPS, and, and I know school administrators have been on scene, or at least we're told that, you know, involving this many children, it's got to be difficult. It's difficult. It's something we actually do for a living, but it's difficult when you find children this young that are involved in a crash, especially when there's a deceased or major injury. So, yes, it is difficult, uh, but... Uh, the school came out, they took care of the children, they reunified the children with the family members, and as you can see, we're finishing up on moving some of the vehicles at the crash site. Are you able to share the age of the child? I don't have the age. So, any other questions involving uh, transportation or EMS, I have the Chief Parker from EMS will be able to answer those questions for you. Good afternoon, my name is Kevin Parker. I'm a Division Chief for Austin Travis County EMS. I'll take any questions that y'all have. What was the age of the uh, two deceased? Uh, I can only tell you that uh, it was one adult male and one child who was a uh, male gender. Do you have an idea of the number of injuries that are children and adults? I can tell you that we evaluated 53 total patients. Uh, two of them, as we spoke of, were deceased. Uh, four of them were transported in critical condition via helicopter. Six went via ground. Uh, that had potentially serious injuries, and the remainder had minor injuries that uh, were transported either by ground or some of them also did not require transport and were moved to the reunification center uh, established by the school district. Did you triage here at the site? Yes, we did an on-scene triage and uh, continuous triage as we were getting uh, units available to move those victims. Is it Yes, we did uh, activate the AMBUS from Austin Travis County EMS, um, and we transported 
a approximately 10 patients uh, to a children's hospital uh, that were of minor injuries. How many hospitals are involved in, I mean, how, just kind of the same question, but more on the EMS side, how much coordination does it take when you have an accident involving this many people? How, it's, you know, how do you get it done? It's a lot of coordination. It, it, this involved approximately nine EMS agencies. Uh, we are very near the county line. Uh, it requested a mutual aid uh, request from Austin Travis County EMS. We sent five ambulances, uh, two commanders, and two chiefs uh, to the scene, along with multiple other agencies that provided mutual aid. Uh, we worked with the Capital Area Trauma Regional Advisory Council to coordinate uh, disbursement of those patients to the hospitals so that we didn't overload the closest hospitals and those patients were able to get adequate care at the facilities we took them to. How much time between the accident and where they lifted out I don't have that information in front of me right now. Was the child who was killed on the school bus? I believe so, yes. A was yes. the bus equipped with seatbelts? I do not have that information. And was was this a rollover accident? Did the bus actually flip over? Do we know that? I would let the uh, law enforcement investigation provide you those details. Can you go back into the chain of events? Who hit who first then? Right. Based on the investigation so far, the school bus was traveling westbound on 21. The concrete truck was traveling the other direction and veered into the lane of the school bus. The school bus is currently turned over on its side. I can't tell you if it rolled over, but it is on its side. I believe it ran into either the back of the school bus or maybe even possibly part of the uh, concrete truck. But as a result of that third crash or that second crash of the vehicle behind the school, that driver is pronounced deceased. Does CPS know if there were seatbelts on the bus? I haven't looked in it. The crash investigators, we actually have the state crash team actually on the scene, and they will make all those uh, uh, decisions on what's so in the bus. I have not been in the bus. Is that right? We don't know if there were seatbelts? I can't tell you whether or not there is at this time. I haven't been inside the bus. Oh, did you see the concrete truck veered into the other lane? It appears that the concrete truck that was traveling this direction veered into the front of the bus. And then the passenger vehicle slammed into, into the Into the back of one of those two vehicles. How many occupants were in the cement truck? We only have one in the cement truck and one male, and it was a black charger that was following the bus where the male was found deceased. That's part of the investigation that's ongoing. I have no reason to believe he has, and I haven't heard any anything otherwise. He's not a, he didn't get things off. able to give Spanish sound for a Telemundo team? I cannot, unfortunately. The guy in the concrete truck, he didn't get taken to the hospital? I don't know that yet, but they did speak to him before, he, whether he was moved, but he's no longer on the scene. Any idea that speed they were going? No, not at this time. Uh, they'll reconstruct it, and they'll be able to tell you how fast each how vehicle is going. Gonna it may take several weeks until they finish the conclusion of the accident reconstruction. The four critical, are they students? I don't have a breakdown. The question was, are the four critical patients students of the school district? I do not have the breakdown of the age or gender of the four critical patients. Do you have the gender of the student? It was a male. But they were in the bus. I do not have the information about what vehicles those four critical patients uh, were in. Chief, would you give us your name and information once one more time? Sure. Division Chief Kevin Parker, K-E-V-I-N-P-A-R-K-E-R. -E I'm with Austin Travis County EMS. And to CPS, what are you asking the public right now? Motorists are going to be in this area. How long, much longer do they need to avoid this highway? So I anticipate the road should be closed for at least another hour or two. Uh, I would check our Facebook or our Twitter site, but or also check with the text out or the county. But it'll take as long as it takes them to get all the evidence needed to reconstruct the crash. Anything else? Last question? Thank you.